The Blue Beam Project Chapter 1 The Enigmatic Reel The flickering glow of the editing room's vintage projector cast an ambient warmth, painting the surroundings in hues of sepia and nostalgia. Alex Harris, a seasoned filmmaker with a penchant for unraveling mysteries, found himself immersed in the labyrinthine world of conspiracy theories. The latest subject of his cinematic exploration was Project Blue Beam, a purported plan involving holographic projections to manipulate the global populace. The air hummed with the rhythmic whir of the film reel as Alex scrutinized each frame, searching for the truth behind the enigma. Initially dismissing it as speculative fiction, he soon discovered that the threads of Project Bluebeam reached further and deeper than he could have ever imagined. What began as a documentary filmmaking endeavor transformed into a journey that transcended the boundaries of his craft. As the reels of footage danced before his eyes, Alex delved into the history and origins of Project Bluebeam. His investigation led him to declassified documents, testimonies of whistleblowers, and obscure corners of the internet where conspiracies festered. The more he uncovered, the more he realized that what seemed implausible held a disturbingly tangible potential. The initial skepticism that accompanied his exploration gave way to a sense of foreboding. Project Blue Beam, if true, wasn't merely a conspiracy theory, it was a playbook for rewriting reality itself. Alex's cinematic intuition sensed a story that went beyond the confines of a documentary, a narrative that transcended the screen and thrust him into a world where truth and illusion intermingled. The journey began innocuously enough. Alex conducted interviews with experts, sifted through historical archives, and scoured the dusty shelves of obscure libraries. However, the deeper he delved, the murkier the waters became. Dark alleys of disinformation and redacted files became the backdrop of his quest, and shadows that danced at the periphery of perception whispered of a grander scheme at play. Late one night, as the editing room bathed in the soft glow of the projector, Alex stumbled upon a revelation that sent shivers down his spine. A confidential document, seemingly overlooked by mainstream researchers, hinted at a global consortium orchestrating Project Blue Beam. The implications were staggering, mind control on a planetary scale, using holographic illusions as the puppet strings. Fueled by a mix of fascination and trepidation, Alex dug deeper, tracing the shadowy figures behind the veil. The conspiracy, once confined to the annals of internet forums, now loomed as a tangible threat. He found himself questioning not just the authenticity of the information, but the very nature of reality. The lines between filmmaking and real-life intrigue blurred as he became an unwitting protagonist in a narrative he could neither predict nor control. The projector's rhythmic word became a metronome for Alex's racing thoughts. The allure of a groundbreaking documentary now mingled with the haunting awareness of the dangers he was treading upon. Each frame flickering before him felt like a glimpse into a reality on the cusp of transformation. Alex's contacts within the conspiracy research community led him to clandestine meetings, encrypted messages, and unmarked locations. It was during one such meeting that he encountered a mysterious informant, a figure cloaked in shadows, who spoke in hushed tones of a power struggle within the clandestine circles orchestrating Project Blue Beam. As the enigmatic informant shared fragments of a larger puzzle, Alex realized he was no longer a passive observer, he was a player in a high-stakes game where the rules were constantly changing. The cinematic narrative he had set out to capture now unfolded around him, and he felt the weight of responsibility to expose the truth, no matter the personal cost. 
The editing room, once a sanctuary for crafting narratives, became a battleground of conflicting emotions. Alex grappled with the duality of his role, a filmmaker seeking the perfect narrative and a truth seeker caught in the crossfire of global manipulation. The film reel, once a source of inspiration, now seemed like an endless loop of uncertainty. In the silent hours of the night, as the editing room embraced him like a confessional, Alex pondered the path he had chosen. The conspiracy had morphed from a captivating story into a relentless pursuit, and the question of whether he was the storyteller or the story itself lingered in the air like an unspoken riddle. The journey into the heart of Project Bluebeam had just begun, and Alex Harris, propelled by a relentless curiosity and an unyielding commitment to truth, braced himself for the perils that awaited beyond the flickering frames of the enigmatic reel. Chapter 2 Shadows of Deception His investigation took him to covert government facilities where classified experiments hinted at the potential to manipulate perceptions. Alex's encounters with insiders left him with more questions than answers. Whistleblowers, shrouded in fear and secrecy, provided tantalizing glimpses into the clandestine world of mind control and holographic illusions. His investigation took him to covert government facilities where classified experiments hinted at the potential to manipulate perceptions. Alex's encounters with insiders left him with more questions than answers. Whistleblowers, shrouded in fear and secrecy, provided tantalizing glimpses into the clandestine world of mind control and holographic illusions. The filmmaker's quest brought him to ancient temples, repositories of esoteric knowledge, where he sought insights from scholars and mystics. The dichotomy between the ancient and the modern mirrored the dual nature of his pursuit, unraveling age-old mysteries in the context of cutting-edge technology. The shadows of deception stretched across the timelines, connecting the dots between the arcane and the contemporary. As Alex delved deeper, he found himself entangled in a complex web of conflicting interests. Shadowy figures emerged from the periphery, their motivations obscured by layers of secrecy. They moved like phantoms through the corridors of power, orchestrating a global symphony of manipulation. The filmmaker, now a detective in the grandest of conspiracies, navigated through a landscape where every revelation only deepened the mystery. In a dimly lit archive hidden beneath the streets of a European city, Alex discovered manuscripts that hinted at ancient prophecies linked to Project Blue Beam. The intersection of myth and technology blurred the boundaries of reality, and he began to perceive the conspiracy as a manifestation of age-old ambitions cloaked in the guise of modern machinations. The shadows grew darker as Alex encountered elusive figures who seemed to materialize and fade at will. Cloaked in anonymity, they dropped cryptic hints, guiding him through a maze of half-truths and misdirection. The filmmaker's journey became a dance between the seen and the unseen, where every step forward led him deeper into the labyrinth. In a secluded mountain retreat, Alex met with a former intelligence operative who claimed to have been part of a secret task force linked to Project Blue Beam. The operative spoke of a grand design, a plan to manipulate the collective consciousness through holographic projections that transcended the limits of technology. The convergence of ancient mysticism and futuristic schemes painted a surreal landscape where reality itself seemed to bend and warp. The stakes escalated as Alex found himself pursued by unknown forces. His investigation had disrupted the delicate balance of power, and those who thrived in the shadows sought to eliminate the threat he posed. 
Narrow escapes and clandestine meetings became the norm as he raced against time, evading the tendrils of an unseen adversary. As the shadows of deception deepened, Alex's journey led him to a clandestine meeting of global influencers, where the true architects of Project Bluebeam plotted in the shadows. The convergence of minds with vested interests and manipulating reality sent shivers down his spine. The filmmaker, now more than ever, felt like a pawn in a cosmic chess game where the players remained hidden and the rules continued to evolve. In the heart of a sprawling city, Alex stumbled upon an underground network of individuals resisting the manipulative forces at play. This alliance of disparate voices, united by a common cause, provided him with a glimpse of hope amidst the pervasive darkness. As the filmmaker joined forces with these unlikely allies, he realized that the shadows of deception could be pierced by the collective light of truth. The enigma of Project Blue Beam, once confined to the realm of speculative theories, now cast its long shadow over Alex Harris's life. Every revelation, every encounter, became a piece of a puzzle that refused to form a complete picture. The filmmaker, now an unwitting protagonist in a global drama, braced himself for the next chapter, knowing that the shadows of deception were poised to unveil secrets that transcended the boundaries of ordinary understanding. Chapter 3 The Illusionist's Gambit Alex Harris stood at the crossroads of revelation, caught between the ancient echoes of mysticism and the cutting-edge machinations of Project Blue Beam. The threads of illusion wove a complex tapestry around him, drawing him deeper into a world where reality itself became a malleable construct. As he delved into the heart of the conspiracy, the illusionist gambit unfolded before him, revealing a landscape where truth and deception danced in a perpetual tango. The filmmaker's journey led him to a mysterious rendezvous in a hidden chamber within an ancient temple. Symbols etched on the walls whispered of an ancient wisdom intertwined with the ambitions of a modern cabal. Awaiting him was a figure shrouded in a cloak of uncertainty, the illusionist orchestrating the grand design of Project Blue Beam. In the flickering candlelight, the illusionist revealed fragments of a plan that transcended the boundaries of conventional understanding. Holographic projections were not just tools for manipulation, they were keys to unlocking the collective consciousness of humanity. Alex, Grappling with the enormity of the revelation felt like a mere pawn in a cosmic game where the illusionist gambit sought to reshape reality itself. The journey continued through Medinas filled with the aroma of exotic spices and bustling bazaars. Alex, accompanied by enigmatic guides, navigated the labyrinth and alleyways of ancient cities. Each step brought him closer to the heart of the conspiracy, where the illusionist gambit unraveled through layers of cultural history and arcane knowledge. As he explored Medina's pulsating with life, Alex uncovered the symbiotic relationship between the ancient traditions of storytelling and the modern techniques of psychological manipulation. The illusionist gambit, it seemed, drew inspiration from the rich tapestry of human narrative, weaving a spell that transcended generations and cultures. The filmmaker's quest for answers led him to encounter nomadic storytellers who spoke in riddles, their tales echoing with the resonance of forgotten truths. The illusionist, it appeared, had tapped into the primal wellspring of human consciousness, using ancient narratives to shape the collective psyche. Alex, torn between fascination and trepidation, realized that he was not merely chasing a conspiracy but confronting the very essence of human perception. In the heart of a digital metropolis, where skyscrapers touched the heavens and neon lights painted the night in a surreal glow, 
Alex stumbled upon a clandestine gathering of tech moguls and influential figures. The illusionist's gambit, now intertwined with cutting-edge technology, unfolded before him like a digital symphony. Virtual realities and augmented illusions became tools for crafting a new narrative, blurring the lines between the real and the imagined. The illusionist, a master manipulator of perception, taunted Alex through encrypted messages and holographic projections. Each encounter felt like a descent into a rabbit hole where reality fractured and reformed with each step. The filmmaker, propelled by an insatiable curiosity and a sense of duty, pressed on, determined to expose the illusionist's gambit for what it truly was. As he ventured deeper, Alex discovered an ancient artifact, the Heart of Jad, rumored to possess the power to unveil the illusions that clouded the minds of humanity. The artifact became a focal point in the illusionist's gambit, and the race to possess its otherworldly abilities intensified. The filmmaker found himself at the epicenter of a cosmic struggle where the stakes were not just global but existential. In the mystic landscapes of bonsai gardens and ancient temples, Alex confronted the illusionist in a battle of wills. The artifact, pulsating with an otherworldly energy, cast a radiant glow that cut through the shadows of deception. The illusionist, exposed and vulnerable, unleashed a final gambit, an intricate illusion that blurred the boundaries between reality and hallucination. Alex broke through the layers of deceit as the illusionist ploy reached its peak. Alex was equipped with the knowledge he had acquired throughout his voyage. The holographic images disintegrated, exposing the previously concealed reality. The illusionist vanished into obscurity, stripped of the mystery that had once surrounded them. With the artifact in hand, Alex stood at the precipice of revelation. The illusionist's gambit, though formidable, had been dismantled. Yet, the filmmaker understood that the battle against manipulation and deception was ongoing, a perpetual struggle to safeguard the collective consciousness from the forces that sought to control it. As the echoes of the illusionist's gambit lingered in the air, Alex Harris emerged from the labyrinth of perception, forever changed by the odyssey that had taken him to the very edge of reality. The artifact, pulsing with the power to unveil illusions, became a symbol of resilience, a reminder that the human spirit, armed with knowledge and wisdom, could overcome even the most intricate gambits played by the puppeteers of perception. Chapter 4 Unveiling the Matrix The climax of Alex Harris's odyssey approached as he stood on the precipice of revelation, the artifact known as the Heart of Jad cradled in his hands. The illusionist's gambit had been exposed, and the battleground shifted to a hidden chamber where the true architects of Project Bluebeam plotted in the shadows. The clandestine meeting unfolded in an opulent room adorned with symbols that hinted at a nexus between ancient mysticism and modern machinations. Figures cloaked in secrecy surrounded a holographic display that projected the intricate web of control they had woven. Alex, armed with the artifact's power, entered the lion's den, ready to confront the puppeteers orchestrating the illusionist's gambit. The atmosphere crackled with tension as the puppeteers, their identities still veiled, acknowledged Alex's presence. The heart of Jad emitted a soft glow, casting an ethereal light that danced upon the walls adorned with arcane symbols. The puppeteers, seemingly undeterred, challenged Alex to comprehend the magnitude of their vision, the creation of a new reality shaped by their design. The confrontation transcended the physical realm, venturing into the metaphysical landscape where the boundaries between perception and truth blurred. The puppeteers, 
draped in shadows, invoked the power of Project Bluebeam to project holographic illusions that mimic the fabric of reality. Alex, undeterred by the grandeur of their spectacle, wielded the heart of Chad, its pulsating energy countering the illusions with a radiant clarity. As the illusions crumbled, the true faces of the puppeteers emerged from the shadows. A conclave of influential figures, captains of industry, politicians, and unseen power brokers stood revealed. Their motivations, entwined with a desire for control and manipulation, painted a chilling portrait of a clandestine cabal steering the course of humanity. The puppeteers, undeterred by the revelation, challenged Alex to consider the alternative they proposed. In their vision, the manipulation of reality was not an act of malevolence, but a necessary course correction for a world veering toward chaos. They spoke of a utopia crafted through the precision of holographic projections, a world where conflicts were mitigated, disparities erased, and a harmonious existence enforced. The heart of Jad, pulsating in Alex's grip, resonated with a counter-narrative, a vision that championed the resilience of the human spirit and the innate ability to shape destiny. The clash of ideologies reverberated through the chamber, each pulse of the artifact echoing a testament to the indomitable will to resist manipulation. As the debate unfolded, a revelation struck Alex, the puppeteers, in their pursuit of control, had become prisoners of their own creation. The illusionist's gambit, once a tool for manipulation, had ensnared them in a matrix of their design. The very fabric of reality they sought to manipulate had become a labyrinth from which they couldn't escape. The heart of Jad, now glowing with an intensity that matched the resolve of those who wielded it, became a catalyst for change. The artifact, infused with ancient wisdom and the collective consciousness of humanity, radiated a transformative energy that permeated the chamber. The puppeteers, ensconced in their illusionary power, faltered in the face of an unforeseen force. In a moment of cosmic convergence, the puppeteers, their grand design exposed and their illusions shattered, faced a choice, relinquish their grip on reality or become prisoners of the matrix they had constructed. The heart of Jad, acting as a conduit for the collective will of those who resisted manipulation, pulsed with an energy that transcended the confines of the chamber. The puppeteers, stripped of their illusionist's gambit, watched as the walls of their carefully crafted reality crumbled. The chamber, once a bastion of control, became a metaphorical prison from which they could not escape. The very tool they wielded to manipulate the collective consciousness now bound them in a matrix of their own making. As the puppeteers faced the consequences of their actions, Alex Harris emerged from the chamber, the heart of Jad in hand. The artifact, now a symbol of resistance against manipulation, continued to radiate a gentle glow, echoing the triumph of truth over deception. The revelation echoed beyond the clandestine chamber, sending ripples through the fabric of reality. The illusionist's gambit, once a formidable force, had been dismantled, and the puppeteers, architects of manipulation, had become prisoners of the matrix they had constructed. Humanity, armed with the resilience to resist and the wisdom to discern, stood at the threshold of a new era, one where the heart of Jad illuminated the path to a reality shaped by the collective will rather than the puppeteers of perception. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.